was tight here in northern Syria when General Joseph Otel arrived on site for meetings with his Syrian counterpart, General Masloum, the commander of the Syrian Democratic Forces, the troops that the U.S. has been backing in the fight to oust ISIS from this country. But General Votel made clear in an exclusive interview with CNN that he still believes ISIS is a threat and a threat directly to the United States. At this point, I think they could certainly inspire uh, and, uh, and uh, you know, perhaps, uh, you know, provide, uh, you know, some, some guidance uh, in terms of that. Uh, I think we have to take it very, very seriously. They, they've demonstrated the ability to do this in the past, so we should expect that they will attempt to maybe do that in the future. General Muslim put forth a proposal in their meetings for up to 1,500 coalition, including U.S. troops, to remain in Syria to help the SDF. General Votel making no promises, saying that the U.S. was looking at how it could continue to help the SDF, but making it absolutely clear that U.S. ground forces, more than 2,000 of them, will be coming out of this country, that that withdrawal is going to take place. And that is going to put the SDF in a very difficult position. Many people believe it will now have to join forces with the Assad regime, and that could end U.S. help for the SDF. As long as they continue to fight ISIS, General Votel said he would be willing to see weapons continue to flow to them. But if they join with the regime, the U.S. does not do business with the regime, and that relationship with the SDF will stop. Barbara Starr, CNN, in northern Syria.